Hello, all my radically wild souls. My name is Jivan, and here I am in Boringen on my beautiful farm here in beautiful Boringen. And um, let me show you my propagation station. You can see this right there. <laughs> I found that table on the garbage, and then I just put it up with blocks. And um, that table, too, I found on the garbage. I found this shade cloth um, in my farm. In the, in the ground somewhere and so I just made this little station I would like to make it better I would like to get more shade um, more more um, uh, shade cloths I would like to get a bigger shade cloth and um, some more things as I mentioned in more videos that um, I live a simple life and I can't afford many things so if anybody would like to, to send donations so I can get better better things here um, I would gladly appreciate it but anyway let me show you my babies here. Let me show you my babies. Here's jackfruit. Here we got some pomarosa, some fig tree, I believe. This beautiful um, flowering um, plant here that I'm going to put in my balcony for the hummingbirds and um, the butterflies. They enjoy that. Here we got rambutan. And here we got maga, the national flower of Puerto Rico. It's a beautiful flower. Um, the bats love it. The all, all the pollinators love that one. The beautiful flower that looks like a uh, hibiscus. Here we have tomatoes, tomatoes. Here we have um, Manila tamarind, a beautiful um, tree here. Here we got the uh, powder puff tree. Look at this beautiful flower. Zinnias, zinnia, zinnias. Um, let's see what else we have here. Kale. Look at the beautiful kale. Tobacco. My farm used to be a tobacco plantation. So I decided to grow tobacco um, to continue that tradition and just see how it grows. I know it's supposed to be a beautiful ornamental plant with flowers and stuff like that. So, hey, why not grow it? Um, here, here we have, um... I believe this is um, angel's trumpet or devil's trumpet, whatever you want to say it. Here we have blood flower for the for the monarch butterfly. It's a milkweed, grapefruit, and so those are my babies. Oh, look at this beautiful sage tree. I mean sage plant. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, big leaves. And as you see, most of them have big a big leaf. And beautiful green they're, they're beautiful and green and the reason is why because I use my secret fertilizer Shh, I know this fertilizer is going to make you go whoa Ugh, that's nasty but I assure you it is not my secret fertilizer is dun -dun -dun, urine <laughs> and um, I use my own urine because it is great for the plants as you see the beautiful big leaves here how beautiful and green they are look at that look at these look at the jackfruit leaf how how green you can see how happy they are really happy look at this they're very 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 happy plants look at the tomato they grew really big and under a week of having um Oh, this is guanaba now here. Look at that beautiful. Look at how, how beautiful they grew. So they like the urine. Um, urea is found in the blood, the sweat, and very concentrated in the urine of mammals. Um, urine is very sterile and, again, very beneficial to the plants. So how do you use urine? Well. Let me go to the corner here and show you my urine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but what I do is I urinate in a gallon and just this much maybe. It's like a 20 to 1 or 30 to 1 ratio of water. So you have to dilute it with water. You cannot just urinate into the plants. It would burn them and they will die. You need to dilute it and use it within 24 hours or else it will turn into ammonia and that will kill your plants so use it within 24 hours and then use this much 
urine and fill, it, fill the whole thing up with water and, and feed it to your plants. They will love it. It's free, free fertilizer for your plants. Now I only give urine to the plants when, when they're small, not when they're flowering. So this is, um, urine is, is high in nitrogen. It's high in nitrogen. Um, if you look at the MPK, the three numbers that you see in fertilizers, N being nitrogen is the first number. Urine has a number of 12 around that range of nitrogen, which is pretty high. And uh, I'm not sure about the, uh, pay, the, the potassium or the potash, which is the P and the K. I'm not too sure about those numbers, but I know it's high in nitrogen, so that's why they're growing so beautifully and big like the way they are. Um, we just have to break free from that yuck factor. Um, you know, many of us use um, manure of animals and things like that, and we don't find it disgusting because it's normal for us to use it, right? It's normal for us to, to use all these products. But when it comes to our own natural urine, it's like, oh my, uh, you know. And I think we have to change our mentality on that and open our minds to different possibilities. And by the way, urea is found, is an ingredient found in many fertilizers. If you look at your fertilizer, you probably see urea. Uh, if you use synthetic fertilizers, that is. Um, this is natural. This is a connection to your plants. Um, what better way to connect to your plants than having your own urine um, fed to the plants and in turn they grow beautifully. So as I always say, I don't grow plants, they grow me. Um, but in turn, I grow them with my urine. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, so, so give it a try. So give the urine a try. Um, and I, I'm sure your plants will be happy. That's a tip that I could give you um, that I hope many will use it. I wrote a blog about it. You could read more about it. Link in the description um, on, on the many benefits of urine. <laughs> the many benefits of the delicious urine. <laughs> so yes, and I'm being sarcastic there. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not um, visit my website radicallywild.com and all social media at radicallywild be wild everyone